Welcome to the channel and welcome to my new video series Completed It, where I'll be diving beyond the thumbnail definition of finished to complete a magnitude of projects both on the channel and some that never even got filmed. It's a not so well kept secret that creators rarely finish projects that are intended just for video. Going back as far as my Ultimate V0 build, whilst that one was a fully working and acceptable printer, it was never finished to the standard I had in mind. The vision was never realised. I wanted to add cameras, a probing solution and better lighting to that printer. It got rebuilt once, into another part finished abomination. I was semi proud of it, but never enough to create content around it. This same situation has leaked into so many aspects of my maker lifestyle, that it's now taken its toll on my mental health. Not many of my products just work. Now, I'm not saying that projects should ever be finished, but they should at least reach the summit of your expectation before you move on to the next modification or upgrade. So in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the projects that are outstanding in the workshop, and a few outside of the workshop, and the workshop itself. We're pulling back the curtain both literally and figuratively to give you a look at the mess and what we plan to do about it. In order to keep myself accountable, at the start of each video in the series we're going to create a to-do list, and that must be cleared before it gets the completed its seal and a video released. The end goal is that the workspace and my office will be transformed into an area I can be proud of and a hub of creativity and productivity, over the current out of control mess that I somehow managed to work from. So let's have a look at some of the projects that will be covered by the series. The Trident, also known as Bingo, featuring Box Turtle and Jabberwocky. One of my favourite printers in the fleet is my Voron Trident 250. It's an all LDO kit with a few small tweaks. I won't go into them here, but I put an awful lot of effort into this build and its sole purpose was to be for multicolour printing. It's currently sporting the world's most famous box turtle that was at Smurf 2024 with LDO motors. The printer for the most part is perfect. It prints brilliantly, it does multicolour exactly what it was designed for, but it lacks any purging or pooping abilities has no quality of life improvement such as cameras, and the wiring could use a little tidying. This will likely be the first video in the series, as the lowest hanging fruit. The Doron Velter. From my favourites to my least favourites. The Doron was a passion project, I loved the way it looked, and I'd never played with a Delta printer before. I bought this as a Fizek kit, and other than including my own Raspberry Pi and modifying the skirts to suit my own taste, the printer has completed no more than one hour of printing. It was pushed to the back of the queue and deemed the most hated of the collection. It needs bringing back to life and potentially finding a new home. The Stealth Changer, also known as Bluey. Bluey is by far my favourite cartoon character, as is Bluey in my printer collection. It's also my favourite achievement. It started out as a plan to self-source a 2.4 to replace an older Fizek one. It ended up being a mostly LDO source build. There have been a few shorts on my channel of the Stealth Changer in action over the past six months, but never any long form content. This one may take a few videos, as the entire electronics bay needs tidying up. The back of the printer is a wiring mess, and this is a prime example Brother. of YouTube finished, as fundamentally this thing works perfectly. It changes tools, it prints, and that's all any YouTube project needs, but not in this series. The not so ultimate V0. The V0 took many forms, it was once front and centre on my channel as the ultimate V0. It then got a makeover because I thought I had too many red printers. And then recently, whilst waiting for parts for another project, it got a new frame because I wanted a red frame. And its Z-axis was replaced with Tri-0 parts to make it a mini Trident of sorts. It's still a work in progress and one that may need a few videos to complete. But complete it I shall. An honourable mention goes to the CNC V0 behind it. That one is a trooper and frequently comes out to play for quick prints that require an enclosure. The Seaboard Trident All Wheel Drive CNC. This one wasn't a project of mine, but rather a friend of the channel. Hi Graham, who had taken the build as far as he wanted and offered me the printer to finish and enjoy. I'm ashamed to say that I bought it at home and a little over four months ago I placed it where it is now. It's not been touched yet, and that needs to change. This printer has a lot of potential and shouldn't be packed away under the bench. The Router CNC Machine. A little over a year ago, I built the machine you can kind of see here. Closely based on the Root 4 CNC design, I did manage to get this thing working, but never tuned it or ultimately reached my end goals. That needs to change. I have some upcoming projects that need the CNC machine, 
So I have some goodies, including the TreeTech Scylla mainboard, to install and configure so that the CNC machine can be brought back to life. Shout out to the LH Stinger sitting on top of the CNC machine, one of my few complete projects. The workshop slash office. Finally, the workshop slash office is where I make my living. It's where I produce most of my content, and it's where I dread walking into because of how disorganized it is. As you can see, I've installed some shelving to try and organize some of the boxes and various projects that covered the floor and any available surface, but the room still lacks a nice zen working environment. So this room is going to get a makeover of sorts. The workbenches are great, but need cable managing and the space under the benches needs some optimization. The opposite side of the room, behind the camera in most cases, is a shrine to the many different ideas I've had to make it work. Over the years, there have been holes made in the walls with various shelves, screens, and camera rigging. This needs a makeover, and I need a nicer place to work. Let me know in the comments any ideas you may have for this area. Maybe we need a Pinterest board or something. So I hope to have captured your attention, and you've already scrolled down and clicked subscribe to follow me into the series completed it. If you like the video, and of course the idea, then there's a button especially for that. Or on the other hand, if you don't, there's a button for that too. Thanks for watching, wish me luck.